Ukraine's war has moved into a fifth year, and the world has hardly noticed. With crises elsewhere diverting attention, it's been largely left to this man, Kurt Volker, to try and break the deadlock. An unpaid envoy for the US government, he invited us to travel with him in eastern Ukraine. So we've come to the town of Popasa. This is in Ukrainian government-controlled territory. It's right near the front line. And indeed, the observer mission who are based here, well, they had to pull back. They no longer stay here because it's just too dangerous. Some six, seven kilometers this way, the contact line. Yeah. Today's unusually quiet, but scores of ceasefire violations take place most nights. Much of it is documented by the international monitors. Do you feel like the world has forgotten this conflict and does that worry you? Well, I think it would be unfair to say it has been forgotten. There is still attention to it. But the fact that there are regularly civilian casualties, regular on a daily basis ceasefire violations for four years, and we report those publicly, it has become the normal. And it's the normal that should not be accepted. We watch as the envoy meets some of the many civilians who still live near the contact line. War has made their already difficult lives miserable. Very nice to meet you. Thank you for meeting Welcome me here. For my apartment. Thank you. The mood changes when he meets Ukrainian soldiers. They're delighted that the Trump administration is finally giving them the lethal weapons they've long wanted to fight Russian-backed rebels. Does selling weapons to a country really advance the cause of peace? Absolutely, because if, you're, if they're not able to hold the line, that's just an invitation for further advancements. And what this does is it tells the Russians very clearly, you're not going to get any more without it being very costly to you. That cost could include further sanctions, he said. America is hoping that Russia still might agree to a UN peacekeeping mission as a way of ending the war. There's no way the Ukrainians can take the territory back that's already been taken by the Russians. The Russians are just too powerful. But the cost to Russia of further advancements is already increased and will continue to increase. And if that's the case, then you have to ask yourself, if you're sitting in Moscow, what are we getting out of this? We're, we're getting Russian casualties, soldiers being killed, fighting in Ukraine. For what? A good question, but for now there's no indication that Russia does want out, or even to talk. Relations with Moscow are at a historic low, and it's been three months since Mr. Volker even spoke to his Russian counterpart. Jonah Fisher, BBC News, Eastern Ukraine.